Hello and welcome back to Shakes here. We are working on Richard III and today we get to hear from Richard in Act 1, Scene 3. So some little stuff. He managed to start to win the heart of Lady Anne while at her father-in-law's funeral, even though he killed the father-in-law and her husband. He has also convinced King Edward, who is very sick, that somebody whose name starts with G is going to be his killer. So their brother George, who would, who is also in line for the crown before Richard is in line for the crown, crown. George, the Duke of Clarence, has been sent off to the tower because Edward is leery of him. Richard wants to make him even more leery, so he, um, so that Edward will like put out a, a death warrant for Clarence. Um, and then he also wants Edward to just die <laughs> so that he can have the crown. So yeah, he's, he's plotting all sorts of things. He's, a, he's our villain. And at the beginning of this scene, we have Queen Elizabeth, who was Lady Grey from the Henry VI plays. She is the queen. She's married to Edward. She's talking to Buckingham and Rivers, and she's concerned about what happens when Edward dies because her son would be in line to be king, but he's very young. So it has already been decided that Richard would be like his regent or protector until he comes of age and can actually take over managing things and and she's she's wary of Richard. I mean, remember in the Henrys, he killed a lot of people, a lot of very important people with no scruples. And we already know from watching this play, he has no scruples. So she's she's very concerned about that. And then somebody else, I think it's Buckingham comes in and lets them know that King Edward is starting to feel a little bit better. And he wants to make sure that Queen Elizabeth and all of his brothers are able to reconcile before he dies. But then Richard comes in with Hastings and Richard, he just, he enters with this energy and he says, they do me wrong and I will not endure it. Who is it that, com that complains unto the king that I, forsooth, am stern and love them not? By holy Paul, they love his grace but lightly that fill his ears with such dissentious rumors. Because I cannot flatter and look fair, smile in men's faces, smooth, deceive, and cog, duck with French nods and apish curiosity, I must be held a rancorous enemy? Cannot a plain man live and think no harm, but thus his simple truth must be abused with silken, sly, insinuating jacks? So he comes in blustering that he's being falsely accused of not liking people. And Lord Grey is like, who are you talking to? And he's like, I'm talking to you. And he keeps going on and on and saying that, all of them have turned Edward against him, Richard. And Queen Elizabeth isn't standing for it. She's like, no, that's not the case. And he's like, you're the one that planted in his mind that Clarence was gonna get him. So you're the reason why Clarence is in prison. And she's like, what are you talking about? That's so not true. And I can't, e I can't even with you anymore. She's like, I don't really want to make peace with you. And then old Queen Margaret comes in. Margaret was married to Henry VI. So she's now the queen mother, I guess. She comes in and she listens in on this whole quarrel between Richard and Hastings and Elizabeth and Buckingham and, and the Greys and, and all of these people. She starts listening in for a little while and she's going to have some words for Richard, but we will get to hear what those words are tomorrow. So, so yeah, today I sort of skipped over. I didn't go really into depth about what Richard was talking about, but he, he comes in just spouting vitriol against other people and and trying to turn other people's potential um, biases against them, saying, what, because I'm not pretty, then I have to be the villain, even though that's what his first speech in the play was about, was the fact that he's not pretty, so he's going to be a villain. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a lot of smoke and mirrors that we're getting from him, and we're going to see what fancy tricks he's trying to put together with this bit, and then how how Margaret, old Queen Margaret, is able to call him out. We'll hear that tomorrow. I'll see you then.